What is going on everyone? I am Nux Pro and welcome to this Escape from Tarkov quest guide. This guide is for the Tarkov shooter part eight, where you got to kill three PMCs with a bull action on woods, all in the same raid. In this video, I'm going to give you the top 10 tips and strategies to help you get this quest completed. Just as a note, remember, you actually have to go in there, point your weapon at the bad guy and pull the trigger and kill him. There's nothing I can do to help you do that. But these tips and strategies I'm hoping is going to get you over the hump. And remember, there is no substitution for experience. The more you play the game, the easier this quest will become. My first wipe, it took me 50 raids to complete this last wipe. It took me 30. This wipe, it took me only three. I think getting rid of the Mosin requirement helped drastically, but just remember you can't teach experience, but let's get into the top 10 so you can become the Tarkov shooter mother. So before we get into the top 10, I have to show you how I completed the quest. So here are my three kills. This is the beginning of the raid. I heard fighting somewhere around the sawmill area and I come up on what I call ramp rock and I see what I think is a player looting a body one shot to the head and he's down and I do a second one because sometimes you just don't know. So that was my first kill. Now my second kill you don't see but this guy was shooting at me in this of uh, the forest here earlier and i just kept looking for him looking for him i guess he gave up on me because he couldn't find me i have the thermal so i'm able to easily see him and this actually was my last shooter born in heaven 100 meter headshot i needed so i'm um, pretty awesome there and i just continue to hang out around the sawmill and i see somebody in this bush here which is a common sniping spot I'm at two kills, so I'm like, let me just take the shot because he might, you know, disappear. I miss, and for whatever reason, he starts running toward me. And hey, man, sometimes this quest is all about luck. But let's get into the top 10. Tip number one, be aggressive off spawn. Now, this is a tactic I use to help complete a shooter born in heaven, but it also applies for Tarkov shooter part eight. So being aggressive off, off spawn means this. So for example, Let's say you spawn over here by the old gas station. You know, uh, UN roadblocks down here. This is that brick building that's on the border of the map. If you spawn here, you know, most likely at least one person is spawning on this side of the map here. So the yellow triangles indicate spawns. So being aggressive off spawn, you spawn here at old gas station you're scanning you know as you're moving you know this way you're probably going to be moving towards the sawmill if you want kills but we'll get into that later but as you're moving this way you should be scanning because this guy that spawned here he could be moving down this way he could be a new player so he's hugging the border of the map uh he could be pushing into the uh the FOB here and looting. So as you're coming up, you should be taking a look into the FOB. Sorry for the scribble. Um, or as you continue to make your way to the sawmill, you're looking this way, right? If you have a thermal, this makes it a lot easier. You're scanning through the trees. Maybe he's got the quest to get to the ambulance here. Maybe he's just running across here. Maybe he's running straight up this way and you're going to intercept them. You're gonna, you're trying to be aggressive off spawn and you're trying to anticipate what other players are gonna do. Now, I know this is gonna be harder if you're a new player, but the more you play the game, the more you're gonna know the spawns, the more you're gonna be able to anticipate where players are going. Tip number two, chase gunfire. I know this sounds stupid and simple, but sometimes we forget. You're in the game to kill players. So if you hear gunfight, you need to run to it as long as it's 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 moderately close so we'll use an example say you get the spawn here 
this is uh the little checkpoint rock i call um you know the checkpoint with the purple key card is here say you spawn here and you just hear like a shitload of fighting down here hey i mean you you got to use your combat experience in this game be like okay what's popular over there oh you sub camp let me just like head down this way and see if i can pick somebody off same thing if maybe the guy that spawns here you're heading this way you know because you're going to go to the sawmill the guy that spawns here you hear a sniper shot maybe he kills uh, a sniper scav on the rock so you got to be thinking you're here you're here gunfire here what's over here oh uh there's a the sniper scav on the mountain maybe somebody's on the mountain now now you're going to post up and you're going to be looking at the mountain so again this is another the more you play the game the the more you know the map the easier this is going to be but you should be chasing gunfire because this map's so damn big now it makes it so hard to find people tip number three say you can't get a kill off spawn do not panic go to the sawmill i don't care what anyone says the most traffic goes through the sawmill almost always in a raid you got people going for sherman you got people trying to loot the safe up here you got quests like everywhere you got quests down here you got a quest over here you got a quest there's quests there there's there's reasons people are going here there's two purple key card spawns every game i play traffic is always moving through the sawmill especially at this stage in the wipe where people got money they're not going to these places and looting um you know every raid is going to be different but generally every raid i go into people are always going to the sawmill so you if you don't get that kill off spawn you need to be in the sawmill i believe there's a very good chance you're going to find three players eventually you know it might take 20 minutes for somebody to mosey on sometimes people wait later in the raid to go to the sawmill to see if they can maybe sturman kills a guy and there's a dead body and they can go loot it it's kind of like the player scav mentality you know go to where you think all the fights were and try to, to get pick up the scraps but this whole sawmill area will have people so i'm circling all this stuff like this forest here this forest here is always popping for whatever reason um then obviously you have dickhead rock very popular you have spine very popular you have the mountain very popular you need to be scanning all these areas in the sawmill very common sniper spot here that's where i killed that one player in the video uh, another common sniping spot ramp rock here you need to be looking in here scribble 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 i think you get the point you should be around the sawmill doesn't mean you have to stand down the open but you need to be listening and scanning uh where you think players are gonna be the sawmill is the best way you're gonna get this done you're not gonna get this done running around up here looking for people you might but let's play the percentages the sawmill tip number four use the shooter born in heaven spots now i have this is kind of a flex for one of my videos but it's going to help you tremendously because these two quests kind of go hand in hand i have a link in the description to my shooter born in heaven guide for woods where i go over the best sniping spots for shooter born in heaven i recommend watching that i have a specific segment in that video going over specific spots in the sawmill which I think will be very helpful for you completing this quest tip number five gun and ammo the past wipes you had to use a mosin to complete this quest holy that made this quest hard now we have options you just need to use a bolt action rifle so there's seven in the game i highly advise using either the model 700 which I use for all my shooter born in heaven and this quest or the DVL. Why? Because they use a 76951 round out of all the bolt action rifles. The 76251 
is the better round i remember in past wipes using the mosin and using s and b and seven and one and seven and 37 everything and bullets just bouncing off people i'm telling you you use an m61 a lot of times the player is going to go down right um i wouldn't go any higher than m61 m993 very good but it's overkill m61 if you can afford it at this stage you should have peacekeeper uh unlocked all the way it's only 11 dollars around not a big deal or uh the one below it is m62 uh, i wouldn't use m80 m80 can be strong but you want to to get people to die so uh, in order to do that i recommend using the best round uh you can depending on how much money you have but m61 is definitely affordable and i think that is going to be your best best in completing this quest m61 with a dvl or a uh, m700 number seven use a thermal woods is a map full of green trees and grass and you're looking for players that are wearing green gear and dark gear a thermal is a no-brainer if you can afford it i know not everybody can afford uh a fleer or a reap but it's gonna make the uh quest so much more easier if you use a thermal i'm telling you it's it's night and day the difference don't feel like you're a noob with a thermal i was in the army i've used thermals they're real it's not like you're using some some made-up thing use a thermal if you're struggling if you can afford it even if you only have a couple mil a 400k investment isn't the end of the world number eight bring a sidearm i don't know how many times these damn op buckshot scavs ruin your day on woods obviously if you're gonna try to engage them with a bolt action it can it can be tough because if you miss your first shot and you're doing your he's going through the bolt action animation the scav can kill you so carry a sidearm a decent one i i bring a glock with uh ap 6.3 ammo just to take care of scavs uh because there's nothing worse than having two kills and then a scav completely destroys your leg or something and uh you know it's gonna make it difficult for you to complete the quest at that point number nine dress for combat now i know this is gonna be uh, dependent on how much money you have but by the time you get to the this quest you're going to be level 40 something you probably have the ability to sell the thick items case by now you should have a decent amount of money you need to dress for combat you're going into the raid to fight and you're probably going to be fight decently geared people with good ammo so make sure you have a headset obviously it makes you your players more easy um helmet doesn't really matter as much because you're going against most people sniping they're gonna one shot you whatever whatever helmet you have so your basic green ssh uh bucket helmet will work fine armor a cheap class 5 armor is the corund proper level 4 100 112 uh thousand rubles you know you can make a hundred k rubles fast it's not that big of a loss if you lose that armor and that's what i used and it will save your life um on the low end i would at least go in with like a press you know the blue armor the press armor or a trooper armor if, if you have one laying around they're actually pretty comparable in price to the karuns at this time and yeah bring grenades grenades are good to throw and make players move maybe a, a player you're in a fight with a player and he you can't find him because he's hiding in a bush or behind a tree or something throw a nade in that general direction it can get the guy to move um that's a that's a good combat tip but yeah you want to dress the part because you're going in the fight tip number 10 is go into the raid with a friend this can be quite beneficial because obviously they're not going to do the killing for you but an extra set of eyes can help tremendously maybe they bring in the thermal and they're spotting players for you they can shoot players in the legs 
so they're limping around and then you can get the easy shot they can watch your back so you don't have to worry about scavs crawling up behind you there's a lot of benefits to bringing a friend into the raid i'm a 100 solo player i have no friends that play this game so i us solo players we gotta fend for ourselves i'd rather go in solo uh because uh tactically i know what i'm gonna do and it's easier to to do that than worry about what someone else is gonna do but if you have friends get a friend in there to help you uh the official escape from tarkov uh discord has people in there that help with uh quests and any famous uh twitch streamer has a discord with people in there willing to help i would check those out uh, as well pastilli i think has a a pretty good discord so if you can find one bring a friend if you're solo like me you just gotta suck it up buttercup but that's it those are my top 10 tips to help you complete this quest i hope it helped it's still on you to go in there and actually point your weapon at the guy and, and uh, get the kills. But I hope these tips get you over the hump. Generally, if you go to the sawmill and you got a thermal, you should be able to at least get opportunities to get this quest done. If you can, please leave a like on the video. It really helps um, get my videos noticed. Also, uh, comments. Uh, if you have a kind comment, let me know if you complete the quest or if you have construction constructive criticism or if you have tips that I didn't cover, uh, go ahead and put them in the comments below. My next video will probably be a guide for the quest setup, the, the shotgun quest on customs. I'm not sure yet, but consider subscribing. We're almost at 14,000 subscribers. Thank you for watching the video.